Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly spirit reading and messages for July 5th to the 12th. So whenever you find this is when it's meant to be seen and there are a lot of spirit messages coming through before we get into the sixth deck. So I had to hurry up and set up put on the camera. Um, the first thing, if you didn't see the spirit message before here and the overall monthly spirit reading for July, it was so much about freedom inside and out. Right now, setting up the cards, you know, I'm not going to rehash that so you can go back and look at that. Um, so it's definitely freedom inside and out. But also, as I'm sitting down here, it's fully coming back to things and even more so but fully back to yourself and really enjoying the good things in life. So this could be a real feeling, you know, when you're seeing this, you're, you may be on break, you may be in enjoying things and have the time. We're also really fully coming back to things and enjoying things and also fully back to yourself. So this is a great time to really come back fully to yourself after everything we've been through and enjoy the good things that are in life. So whether this is your family, your friends, time out to do the things that you really enjoy and a sense of really fully coming back to yourself, like having some real time to do that. Um, so there is a time to really enjoy things and fully coming back and like they said freedom inside and out so happy happy fourth of july to all especially in the states of course when we're celebrating freedom of all things and freedom means a lot more to all of us at this time so i wish you the best and may we celebrate more um not just that day <laughs> you know keep it going so let's tap in Ooh, so let's tap into the archangel messages for the journey what's the advice for that week we're going to tap into the energy we're going to tap into the goddess guidance we're going to tap into what to surrender if anything and i feel like it's just letting go of all the stress we're going to have messages from heaven or loved ones passed on and spirit guides and we're going to end it with guardian angels so from the 5th to the 12th besides everything i mentioned let's clear out our minds and hearts and get ready to receive our angel messages for the week from the 5th to the 12th and I feel such happiness and such a lightness that um, it's hard to almost contain. You know, I always pick up feelings when I'm doing readings. So, and I can't stop smiling. So there could be a lot to smile and be happy and just have a lot of joy. In the Twelfth, a lightness um, and an excitement because my own, my leg's going. So there could be things that we're excited about. So let's see what we're getting. My right leg is shaking. It's like, you know, when you're excited about something, um, almost like a dog wagging its tail. So let's see. Archangel messages from the 5th to the 12th. 5th to the 12th. Here we go. Messages from the Archangels from the 5th to the 12th for all who made them. This video is tapping into our energy from the 5th to the 12th. What is this to clear advice? Well, we can keep it on. Ooh, they're shuffling so bizarrely. 5th to the 12th, clear messages from the 5th to the 12th. Right away, we're getting, we've been getting this a lot. It's the night of Michael. Things are moving quickly. Um, it's time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. There could be sudden changes. We're leaping into action. There could be a lot to get a move on. Um, the 5th to the 12th, so let's get some more. That's been hard, that's been coming up for July, that we're gonna be actually like leaping into action. They kept on calling it a jump start almost like a horse coming out of the gate. There's a lot of things that are all of a sudden, we can go, we can go, go, go. So that's what I'm getting from this. And another Michael card, Page of Michael, new things coming in, new opportunities coming in. They're seeing an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review the contracts and documents very thoroughly. So there is fast, quick movement things coming in here um, and you have everything you need to succeed. So this is, Good things coming in here. Opportunities. You have what it takes to succeed. So you could be on the receiving end here and you're gonna be jumping at it. Oh gosh. So this wanted to come out, but let's just hold on. I gotta calm down. This is what I was feeling, the excitement I was feeling. So there's definitely new things that we're gonna be going on here, and definitely we're gonna be on the receiving end of things. And that's why my leg was shaking. There's an excitement here that I'm almost finding I have to contain myself to get through the cards. 
and we have change your life. So make no doubt about it. The things that are coming in this week that you're moving on and things that are coming in, it's change your life moments. And they've been saying that this is usually the tower where things have come down and we're now in the process of building it up. And here it is a sudden revelation. It offers freedom. You cannot make this up. So the spirit message before, it's all about freedom inside and out. And there was a whole spirit message that I just put on the channel about that. I mean, freedom, freedom, freedom um, is taking flight. So there could be sudden revelations or things coming in that really will change your life. And so break free of procrastination. We sure are as the Knight of Michael moving forward and embrace the opportunities that change brings and here is the opportunity. So make no doubt about it. These are change your life opportunities, movements forward freedom and the uh, opportunities that freedom brings. I mean, you can't make this up if I try. So this is an explanation mark of the freedom of the opportunities of the movement that we're going to be feeling in July. And we're getting, look at that, the success of writing that. Now, this is a repeating message that we've been getting for July that you keep moving like this and it's going from success to success to success. And here is success. So they're saying, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. It's time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, promotions. We're just getting started. So whatever opportunities, whatever you're moving on, this is change your life moments. That's the freedom that all these opportunities are bringing inside and out. And it's just an explanation mark on everything I've been saying. I have chills, chills, chills all over my body. Um, no need to go even far, farther. If you haven't seen the overall monthly spirit reading for July, definitely I would watch that. And also the freedom inside and out, the freedom uh, is taking off. Literally, they said freedom is taking off. I had it posted as a separate spirit message that freedom is taking off and we are taking flight. And that is definitely what we're doing. We're moving on all these opportunities, sudden changes and change your life moments. So these are just opportunities, opportunities that change brings and seize them. And so you're gonna be feeling a movement here, a momentum here, a freedom here, new opportunities here, success after success after success, meaning every, like you keep going. It's not like one thing, you keep going, it's the momentum. So keep up that momentum in July. So let's get the energy for the week. So this is right away, we are getting, yeah, the magician and the mirror. And they've been saying this, that we are the magician, we are the manifesto, we are the creator. Not only that, but we're using all we are. We're almost coming forth as a healed magician. Very powerful. What opportunities, what freedom are you granting yourself? What do you want reflected in your world now? So it's the magician and the mirror. You know how we are the magician in the tarot that we bring things in and manifest and create in the physical? But we are the magician and the mirror. And we've also been changed and healed and we're granting ourselves more freedom. We're more illuminated. We're doing Doing all of these things this is what they're saying that it is going the moves and the opportunities and the freedom the, and the momentum it's going to be reflected it's going to be reflected like what we want to manifest and create is go that's the success that is going to be reflected in our world um, so what you're doing, how you're doing it, the opportunities, the freedom, the movement of what you're moving on, the success that you're feeling, all of that is being created and is going to be reflected to you in your world. So keep it up. Okay, so let's get the messages from the goddess guidance. So we are, like they were saying, it's not just a magician in the mirror, we're now a healed magician in the mirror. We're now granting ourselves more freedom. Uh, this is the momentum. We have peace that's coming in here. You may be feeling real peace and also there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Reassuring us, the success is coming in here. You are manifesting what you wanna see in your world. And there's a peace that you could feel in the fifth to the 12th that you have nothing to worry about or they're telling you, you have nothing to worry about. Trust, everything is working out beautifully. Success, success, success. Um, there's momentum here, opportunities here, change your life moments, more freedom, all of that's coming in. So there's peace, you can give your worries and stress, you can let go on the week of the 5th to the 12th because you know this and you are the sorceress. So make no doubt about it, they are doubling down that you are the magician, you are the manifester, you are the creator, you are the sorceress, and in this card she is riding. So again, we have riding to success. We have the Knight of Michael with success. 
these are all writing. So you're writing your success, I wanna say, with these new opportunities and freedom. And the card, it says you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And that's what this is, the mirror, the clear intentions being reflected, your clear manifestations being reflected. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And they're saying you're having success. So you keep going, you keep writing on these opportunities, these change your life moments, have peace, there's freedom and opportunities, you're the sorceress, you're the magician and the mirror. So it's going to be reflected to you what you're doing, the choices you're making, the opportunities you're moving on, you are a magical person, you are creating, you are manifesting, it's being reflected, it's, it's going to be reflected to you, this success of manifesting and having it clearly reflected back. This is a very powerful reading for what's happening in July. They've been saying this July and it's the jump start of this. So this is out of the gate momentum. You keep going knowing you're a magical person. You're the magician and the mirror and it's manifesting and you have peace that it's being, you know, you can release the stress. You're in that vein, in that flow. These are change your life moments. This is the, you called it the jump start. So it's not just in this week not just july but it's the momentum it's amazing so let's get the what to surrender if there's anything we can surrender to make this easier or the ride of this easier um the ride of manifesting what you want clearly going for success after success the opportunities the freedom to go for these new opportunities that's clearly manifesting more clearly what you want reflected to you in your world this is really powerful what they're talking about, a jump start here that's happening in July. Yeah, we're surrendering those unhealthy relationships. That's absolutely has been a recurring message. Um, whatever shape it is in, it could be in your personal, it could be in your work, it could be any kind of unhealthy relationship you have, not just intimate, that um, we're releasing that because our time, focus, energy, this momentum and these what we're manifesting has to be more balanced and reciprocal. Anything that's not is going. Um, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. We are doing that. We are the magician in the mirror. That's one thing that we're getting very clear about, that if it's not balanced, not reciprocal, it, like they keep saying, real divine self-care and real divine abundance is on the same track. It's also getting more clear what to let go. Yep, surrender to setting limits. You see, we are very, I was about to say in this popped out, we're getting very clear and much better with proper boundaries. Um, um, releasing the negativity much sooner. They kept on saying bye-bye negativity. It's almost like you don't have time for that. You don't have time for that because you're a very magical person and your natural resources are your time, focus, energy. You want to be clearly, you are the magician and the sorceress. You're a magical person. You know that you invest your natural resources and clearly manifest. It's going to be reflected. That's the success they're talking about. That has changed your life. And it is actually getting stronger and more healthier in how to get rid of toxic, negative, unhealthy relationships of all sorts, surrendering to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries and relationships and practice expressing your needs. And remember that no is a complete sentence because that's not part of um, manifesting here. So that's what they're saying. And we've gotten much better with that. And it's actually much more clear in these times what actually supports this momentum and this manifesting and what doesn't. And then we've gotten better. I almost feel like, yeah. And what they've always been saying to you is surrender resentments. This is part of the freedom that we're feeling because we're surrendering the unhealthy relationships. We're having the proper boundaries, the limits, and we're surrendering the resentments. It was all about forgiveness and that freedom message, letting go, forgiveness, ease. So we're surrendering any kind of resentments. We're setting ourselves free. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. That's it. That's a momentum. You just keep moving forward toward positive um, situations in your life. And here is the movement. You just keep moving forward. Success to success. You're the magician and the sorcerer. It's changed your life. It's going to be reflected to you. And here are the new opportunities to support it that you're riding on. That's there to greet you as you go forward. So this is a momentum and the opportunities and the manifestations that we're all creating individually and collectively. But you're going to see this in your life. And it's much easier to let go of that. And when you do, you have more stamina and more drive and more to pour into what you 
actually want reflected. So let's get into messages from heaven. The fifth to the twelfth. The fifth to the twelfth from our loved ones and passed on in our spirit guides. And we're getting, I knew this was going to come, problems that have held you back or being cleared. We're monitoring it. These were all the problems. They're going. Like I put down um, that bye-bye negativity. I know I was talking about YouTube even clearing out negativity. We're clearing out negativity. We're letting go of things. We're paying less attention to negativity. I'm telling you the problems that have held you back or being cleared. We're monitoring it. And that is what I'm talking about, that this freedom inside and out has been truly done. Um, what did they say about this freedom here? It, um, offers freedom. It's revelations that offer freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change breaks. This is what we're going forward. This is the momentum and the clearing that we're charging through. When I said it felt like we're letting out of the gates, it's a freedom inside and out. All the problems that have held you back are being cleared inside and outside. They're monitoring it. So this is your divine help. Like I say, we don't do these successes alone. See the divine help here as you go. You feel and trust that, that all problems that have held you back are being cleared. Where we've stepped in is surrendering all this that took our natural resources away has been cleared. Inside stuff has been cleared. Outside stuff has been cleared. So we're going forward to new success, new opportunities, the freedom. Oh my gosh, so a lot of things are coming in here being manifested and to know you're manifesting sorcery kind of power, your magician power, you're the magician and the mirror. So you wanna be real clear on what you want reflecting back to you in your world. So that's why it's been very, e they've made it easier for us to have the limits, the boundaries, releasing things that are unhealthy, that don't reflect what we want. Um, this is just amazing change your life moments. I, I told you in July, it sets it off. It's, this is going to go way beyond. We're going to be riding that horse for a while. But here we have, yeah, you're ready. You are ready for a change of scenery. Explore. So we're going to be getting out there. We're ready for a change. Change your life moments. So not only are you going to be exploring and adventurous and up for the fun and the joy um, this particular week, but this is change your life moments. We're ready for a change of scenery. We are ready to get out there. We're ready for it all, right? So this is, we're ready for these changes. And that's why I think that we are greeting them more wholeheartedly and we got, yeah, look at these outside pictures, a beach and a shell. We understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we're always here. First of all, I feel like we're going to get out, out, like out, explore, be outside, enjoy. Like they said, this is a time to enjoy the good things in life. But also this part, we understand sometimes you feel that you are alone, but you're not. You're never alone. These successes that we're riding on, riding forth and doing, you we understand you may sometimes feel alone, but we are always here. So you have backing love support has been a recurring message for what you're manifesting, for what you want to change in your life, for the new opportunities. Um, problems that have held us back inside and out are being cleared. There is freedom, 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 and opportunities here. For now, also a lot more to literally explore, to get out there. Um, literally and enjoy yourself like this reminds me of like vacation time practically but definitely this is movement forward on new things coming in and to remind you that you're a magician a sorcerer you are the magician and the mirror and this sorcerer and you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality this is like the what you want to hold on to for July going forward, being really clear. When you're really clear with this in your mind's eye and heart, it's much easier to have the proper boundaries and not to give your natural resources of time, focus, attention away to things that are not genuine opportunities, not providing the sex, success, not providing the sex. <laughs> There could be some love coming in. Um, but change your life moments. Yeah, it said unhealthy relationships. You want love reciprocated. You want value reciprocated. You, that, that's been part of this as well. So whatever you wanted is starting to get manifested because we're getting more clear. We're going forward. There's new opportunities. Um, problems that have held you back are being cleared inside and out. And they're just reminding you this is like one part of the success and keep going. And we're ready for these changes. There's definitely some just get out there and enjoy yourself the good things in life because they that came out in the in the very beginning but on the bigger scheme these are literally change your life moments because we're granted more freedom inside and out and we're charging on that and we're 
showing up and grabbing those new opportunities. We're going to success to success. We're owning our sorcery, uh, magician power. And more than that, being very clear because we know we're the magician and the mirror. Um, so when you're really clear, I love how we're getting much better with limits, boundaries, letting go of resentments, bye-bye negativity, bye-bye. It only holds us back from charging forward. Um, so let's get into it with guardian angel messages. This is such an explanation of all the spirit messages and readings for July so far. So I couldn't wait to do this reading. I think we're, there's going to be a lot of fun and enjoyment. I think there's a lot of freedom and opportunities. We're going for success. We're getting clearer on what we want to manifest here. And it's going to be reflected. And we're not doing it alone, even if parts, uh, sometimes you're doing pieces of it alone. Or no, you're not doing it alone. Love and support in the physical, but also loved ones passed on and spirit guides as well. So let's get messages from the guardian angels. I love problems that have held you back are being cleared. And like they said, freedom inside and out. Freedom inside and out. So we do feel like that horse led out of the gate. <laughs> like this card has been such the card. Like jumping out of the gate. They called it jump starts. Like we're out of the gate. Um, we're out of the gate for these change your life moments. It's like we can't wait and enjoy. Yeah, you can't make this up. Positive change. So do you see this? You are ready for a change. We have change your life moments. Um, so yes, 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 this is all positive changes. Dare to be different. When you're criticized, remember, you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime, yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Um, this is a recurring spirit message they made me post separately about you have spiritual cheerleaders, that if you are behind the scenes light worker, you have divine love and support and backing. That was a separate message as well. If you're not getting feedback, thank you. Pats on the back, it, you know, from the physical, you do from spirit, um, that you're sowing seeds. That We got spirit messages about plant your seeds. Your seed, don't overanalyze your seeds. Get out there and plant all your seeds. Um, yeah, and be you, be fully you. This is a time to really be full, like they said in the beginning, fully back to yourself and fully pouring yourself into these new opportunities, fully owning um, when you're the magician, like I said, the healed magician, you're fully utilizing your resources in a more um, powerful way. You're bringing all you are to, to things. You're seeing that playing out. And that's part of the positive. That's the divine ingredients that we're planting seeds with now is the recurring message as well. So definitely dare to be different. Dare to be you. Someone once said the hardest thing to do is just be completely yourself in life. It's such a journey just to be that. Keep going. When you're criticized, remember you're never going to please everyone. Many brilliant, gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime, yet it is often they who've sown the seeds of change. We're sowing those seeds for ourselves and others. And that was a whole spirit message too. They were saying, go plant that tree. It's going to make the air better for everyone. That whole thing that they gave me about like, Go out there, plant your seeds, be you, plant, plant, plant. And they always give analogies with plants and flowers and trees, but do it because even if you, no one pays attention to you, you plant a tree, it grows, it makes the air better for everyone. Like um, the other spirit message, we're taking flight now, we're pouring ourselves more fully. When you grant yourself freedom, you're granted, you take everybody else with you. Your energy has effects, it makes a difference. It's all the same message in different cards, different ways. Um, that's on the higher level of what they're always saying. But here, positive changes. These are all positive changes. Problems that have held you back are being cleared inside and out. You're seeing change your life moments, change your life opportunities, movement, momentum. So it's not just for this week. You are a sorcerer. You're magical. You're a manifester. You're a creator. You're a magician and the mirror. But you're more than that. You're a healed magician. Like we're not even the magician we were two years ago. We've gotten more clear. We've gotten more powerful. We've gotten better with the boundaries and what we put up with and we're also being released to more freedom at this time so it's definitely freedom inside and out is a recurring message and these are all positive changes and you're really going to start to feel it because they said you're ready for this change change your life moments you are the sorcerer the magician here are the opportunities success and the problems that have held us back inside and out are being cleared so you can't ask for more more and more in july this momentum this energy this backing that we're having 
and we're getting invitation and it is an invitation we your guardian angels ask you to invite us into your heart talk to us at any time share with us your fears and concerns as well as your joys and pleasures there's no need to be formal for we have known you before the dawn of time in fact we know you better than you know yourself and we love you just as you are and there's your permission there's your backing love and support we love you just as you are so dare to be different you know many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime and it's often they you soon the seas of change that's the invitation and that's your love and backing and you can talk to them at any time there's no need to be formal i know people pray and say everything i'm very more to the point because they already know everything that's going on they know everything that's happened they know you better than you know yourself um so look out for signs symbols messages and feel love backing with all that you're doing know that they love you just as you are and that's the thing about being fully yourself you already have permission like you already have that love and backing and permission to be nothing but yourself that's what they keep repeating to you be more fully all you are be more fully everything that makes you you yes it is different it's different on purpose the seeds you're planting are different dare to be different um, they're literally telling you dare to be different. That's why we're each unique. That's why we each have unique talents. Like they always keep saying too, it's all cooperation, not competition. You know, I, I plant a seed, you plant a seed, I plant it, it all flourishes. Like, and that we're all different on purpose. On purpose, we're all different. That's the invitation. And you also have love backing support. This love, they love everything that you are. They love everything that you are. And um, it doesn't matter often what you're getting in the physical there's something about that too because here there's like you remember you're not going to please everyone don't let anything else problems that have held you back inside and out are being cleared so whether you look to others if it was okay or look to you know let others affect your energy too much had unhealthy relationships not proper boundaries i'm guilty of all this too by the way um you know that's what they're saying we're helping you to let go yeah because look guilt this is our inside stuff um, you do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love, regardless of what you've done or what you feel, think you failed to do from your soul's perspective. There's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love. And so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. We're getting rid of all of that stuff. Problems that have held us back inside and out. Sometimes it's just our past experiences. It could be things that happened to us. It could be our, you know everything we're letting go we're having um they're helping us to let go of a lot problems of the like they said freedom inside and out there's a lot that we're releasing as well and here is a prayer dear guardian angel help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs that's the shaping we're being shaped it's the invitation that we've been changed also in this process of letting go more being more flexible letting go of attitudes and beliefs that are part of the problems that hold us back it's freedom inside and out help me not to fear the transient nature of life things are changing things are changing we've been helped to let go more be more flexible um, and I'm talking about like moment to moment, day to day. I mean, it's like, it's being in that flow and, and this fear of the transient nature of life. I mean, the, all these changes are happening. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God in all creation. That's the extreme love and backing that I'm telling you is here for these changes. Um, that backs you. Um, that's, that's the peace that card of the peace that came in. That's what's there for us. Um, there are almost no words for this sometimes, but that's helping us, right? And here we go, go shine, be, be you, sparkling. Here is the star, believe in yourself. After we let go of everything that holds us back on the inside, they want us to come charging forth like this. In your brilliancy has been a recurring message like a magician in brilliant see like the spark here brilliant shining like a magician in the mirror clearly manifesting right star believe in yourself you are a wonder of creation wash away that's what we're getting freedom inside wash away all the fear and discover you are a shining star allow all around you to just be let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. And remember, stars are born through explosions of love and love illuminates all things. And never forget, you are truly a shining star. And that is the what 
part of the inside and out that we've let go to emerge the start, going for the opportunities, having freedom inside and out. Um, these change your life moments, going for them. There's a new freedom here to remind you you're the magician and the mirror. So you're being very clear now and it's going to be reflected to you. You are a sorcerer, a magical person. They're telling you you are a shining star. So let go of anything else that does not have you believing that you are a shining star. Believe in yourself. You're a wonder of creation. Dare to be you. You're part of the change. You're part of the positive changes by the seeds you're planting. When they say that, it's like, where are you pouring your time, focus, energy? You are a star. Where are you pouring that energy? It's invaluable. It's so invaluable. It's uh, seizing these opportunities, change your life uh, moments. You are ready. We've gotten so much better from everything else that held us back with this. This is like clearly, more clearly manifesting going forward. It is a momentum. I know this is a July weekly spirit reading, but this is very much in the lane of what they were saying is starting in July. This is the momentum. Um, and so I hope you have a great July 4th, a great week in July. If you haven't seen the overall monthly reading for July, more of the same. And the spirit message is about freedom, more of the same. I mean, these are explanation marks to stay in that vein, that momentum. And remember, you're a shining star and dare to be you, dare to be different. Seize those opportunities. These are change your life moments. You're a magical person manifesting more clearly what you really want to see in your life. This is change your life, but we've been changed. And look how much better we're getting at manifesting and having it reflected back. And you have love and support and backing for that. And they're always reassuring us to let go of everything else that we that clogs up that. Because <laughs> here we have problems that have held you back or being clear, we're monitoring it. So they're helping us to let go of everything that holds us back from believing in ourselves and accepting the invitation and greeting those positive changes. And dare to be you, dare to be different. Um, yeah, they're saying we're sowing the seeds of change and it's all coming in here and a lot of success and new opportunities and a lot of enjoyment, time to enjoy also because we had all those beach cards too, I feel like. Um, so enjoy, enjoy, enjoy freedom inside and out, change your life moments definitely and a lot about manifest, more clearly manifesting and problems that have held us back are being cleared. So wish you the best in July. Take care and happy July 4th to those who are here in the States. Take care. Bye-bye.